Meryl Stark spent her early years as an orphan in Dyramore. If she's being honest with herself, she doesn't remember much about her time there. What she does remember very clearly is the day the Dragonkin, Airrock Doomcaller, attacked Dyramore and burned most of their buildings to the ground. The orphanage was one of those buildings, and during the attack, Meryl had to be strong enough to help the other orphans escape. During that escape, she met one of the Dragon Knights of the Bowal Empire, a woman named Iria Rain. Iria was unlike most on the continent of Chroma, a woman who had been experimented on by evil sorcerers. Her body had been transformed and she had six arms. On top of that, something was giving her a demonic aura, the likes of which made it impossible to even stand near Iria without your deepest, darkest fears coming to light. A wizard by the name of Shadow concocted bracelets with magic strong enough to counter Iria's aura, and that's the only reason why the Dragon Knights were able to stand beside her. When Iria went into the orphanage to save Meryl and the other orphans, the orphans were afraid of her, but Meryl couldn't understand why. Iria was shocked to see that Meryl wasn't frightened of her, and when she questioned why, Meryl revealed that she was immune to magic. Obviously, that included Iria's aura. Meryl's art, or special magical ability, allowed her to negate the effects of magic. This included Iria's aura, other people's arts, magical spells, and even a dragon's fire. Normally, one might assume that a dragon's fire breath is a part of what they are, not necessarily magic. But the origin of dragonkin on this new earth is tied directly to magic, particularly a magic on Chroma referred to as Sacromancy. Sacromancy was the act of splicing cells from two different beings and then fusing them together, using magic to make something new. Therefore, the origins of the dragonkin's evolution is tied directly to magic, making their fire magic by nature. As Iria escorted Meryl and the orphans out of the orphanage, a dragonkin attempted to blow fire at them, but Meryl's art negated it. The moment Griffin, the leader of the Dragon Knights, learned of this power Meryl possessed, he knew he needed her for their team. Meryl had no combat experience, and despite knowing what her art did, she was far from having it mastered. However, the potential of her power was too good for Griffin to pass up. He made it a priority to give her the best possible training. Between Wyglef and Iria, Meryl had two of the strongest warriors on Chroma helping her master both her art and physical combat. Being able to negate magic and the Dragonkin's fire would make Meryl a pivotal part of Griffin's plan to defeat the Dragonkin. Meryl's natural ability to resist Iria's aura made her even more crucial to Griffin's plans. Iria was Griffin's most loyal Dragon Knight, but it was difficult for Iria to get close to anyone. Luckily, on top of her powers, Meryl was also one of the kindest people on the planet. Her and Iria became friends rather quickly, and the two of them became Griffin's secret weapons against the Dragonkin.